Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan and I am so glad you're here today. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about homeschooling my son with autism. Now this is going to vary widely depending on your child, their needs, and all the variations within the spectrum. When they call it autism spectrum disorder, they do so because while it may technically be the same neurological malfunctions, it is such an enormous range of abilities, disabilities. Um, <laughs> it's really hard to describe all the different ways it can vary, and it can even vary by day. Some days my kid is sharp as a tack and has the memory of an elephant. Other days, like yesterday, He's obviously having a bad day and it affects him in so many ways, he can't even remember how to spell his best friend's four letter name. A name he wrote on a letter that he wrote to him the day before without any help and did so perfectly. So it really is a huge variation, but there are some general rules that I follow with my particular son that really help him when we are homeschooling. The first thing, and it may seem like a little bit of an oxymoron, is even though with parenting and educating a child with autism, you need tons of repetition. And I mean common sense stuff for the rest of us. You need to reiterate over and over and over and every day and the next day and the next day and the next day before it even starts to sink in and be able to come out appropriately. The opposite is actually true for my son in his schoolwork. If there is too much repetition, you lose his focus. It just is not happening. So I am grateful that with homeschooling, I can do only as much as I need him to do to see that he grasps that concept or that the wheels are turning and things are starting to click and then we move on. Because if we overdo it, he gets frustrated, he'll get angry, his focus is shot, and that pretty much puts us in a spiral for the whole rest of the day. And I just don't need a multiplication problem triggering that cascade. So let me pull out his math book and show you a little bit of what I mean. If you've seen my homeschool curriculum plans from this summer, I'll link them up here in the corner, you know that for math we are using a Becca. Now a Becca is a very rigorous program and it is pretty advanced. It also works on the spiral learning method so that kids will touch on little bits of things every day and they'll build on each other and come back to basics, basics and keep going. Now an example of how we do things is I never require that he does everything on a page. As you can see here, the only thing done on this page is number seven here. On the front, one, two, three, four, five. Those are just things I grab from each concept they're teaching on this page to teach him the major concepts. Here where we did a new lesson and he was learning a totally new concept of two digit multipliers. We did the problem teaching him the names of the parts of the problem. We did just these two. We did this one together and I guided him while he did this one alone. This one he did completely independently. Once we were done with those, I skipped everything else on the page because it's all multiplication and he showed me that he was understanding that he could do multiplication multiple ways in these three problems and that he was starting to understand that new concept. And then on this back side of the lesson, it's completely blank and that's because I could tell when we finished that lesson he was kind of over it. And by over it, I don't mean just bored with math. I mean his focus was leaving and I was not going to be able to get him back for the rest of the school day if we didn't move on. 
I hope that helps you if you are homeschooling a child with autism or ADHD or any of the abilities that require this type of modification. Even the most rigorous of curriculum, like a Becca, can be used very effectively with children on the spect spectrum and with other challenges. You just have to be willing to modify it and make it work exactly how your child needs instead of being a slave to your curriculum. Don't be afraid to skip work skip some lessons entirely if you know your child knows that content and perhaps going into that could just trigger them that day. It's hard to tell sometimes and you just never know. So we just brush by things that he doesn't need, touch on things only in the depth that he needs that day to get those wheels turning and then we move on. We never stay on one thing for long. And his entire school day in fourth grade takes about two to three hours if I have his focus really on point that day. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with anyone who you think might benefit from this. And subscribe to my channel for more information like this. Thank you so much, friends. Bye-bye.